and tricks channel so today we will talk about mobile application testing so when i joined uh, as a quality assurance engineer so i i was assigned to the android team so i need to test the android application we were developing so mostly in android uh, when you start testing you feel like uh, applications are not that deeper as we have said sometimes and when i started it was back 4.2 version of android was there so in 2013 14 15 so that time android was very new so also we were not about uh, aware about uh, how much testing we need to do especially i was very new so i was not that much aware like what all we need to do to test the android device i just simply test the flow and uh, that's it but uh, after some times i come to know like there are so much testing we required in the mobile and that is uh, really different from a website or a desktop application so if you are new to mobile application world or you have just started testing mobile application you should watch this video entire end if you are currently doing mobile application testing you will uh, relate lot of the things so let's start so before starting please consider to subscribe this channel if you are qa and uh, share it to your other qa friends as well so let's start so what the video till the end so we will try to cover all the possible testing we can do so before we start let's say the what types of mobile applications we have so when you uh, someone ask about the types of application mostly in interview they ask mostly our uh, if you are not uh, tested much so you in your mind it comes like android application ios application kind of thing but uh, that is uh, os wise but if you think there are three types of uh, mobile application currently we can deal with native web app and hybrid so what are the native applications let's go through examples only so here we have simulated uh, devices so in browser stack give you few devices to simulate for free so let's uh, simulate google pixel so when you have open the mobile mobile applications or if you are using mobiles so what are the apps you are seeing right all the apps uh, which uh, which you can install from play store so those are the actual mobile native applications so native applications are written with the code of android or if it is ios then ios and if other platform then it may have used other applications as well so here uh, so you can sc uh, scroll this as well so i just trying to get to the home uh, so these are the applications you are seeing on the home those are native application this gmail app is native application it is written with android code and uh, yeah and other types of uh, application is web apps so web app are those so website we are using in the browser so if you are test something software testing okay it is giving one minute or only free trial okay thank you so web apps are the apps which you can open in the chrome or any of the browsers and you can access so those are the written using the uh, web technology like uh, html css javascript and whatever the back end php or something and hybrid are the combination of native and web apps so those are written like uh, you can install in the device but it works like uh, it opens in the browser or something the combination of both so we are really see less of the hybrid apps but we see most of the native apps and if you have desktop website then you can have web apps in the mobile as well so these are the types of mobile apps other difference between testing mobile app and desktop app so this is the thing we talk about what are the differences so you can say mobility of the devices like when you are thinking of the mobile so mobile people with mobile keep on traveling or while using mobile they are walking they are in the car they are in the train uh, they are in the aeroplane as well yeah so it is kind of uh, mobility devices you are deal with other thing is platforms so a lot of uh, 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 things we have like lot of platforms we have so different types of oss we have 
uh, Android, iOS, uh, Blueberry has their own and uh, there are other manufacturers as well. So actually in uh, real world we are using limited but in corporate if you go they have they are using so many uh, types of devices and we have different kind of manufacturer as well and which uses their flavor of that OS like Samsung has their safe versions and uh, uh, OnePlus has their oxygen and iOS also like uh, you are getting uh, Apple you are getting entire new OS so those are the things uh, you need to consider and there are some other factors as well uh, like uh, uh, mobile has limited battery limited uh, memory uh, RAM so those kind of things you need to consider so what types of mobile apps testing like when you are we are thinking about the testing the types of testing we are the actual concern so you can do all kind of the testing so these are the testing you need to keep on your test plan when you are doing the mobile application so first is usability so usability testing is most like when you are doing your testing of Android application that is very small screen and user has limited uh, uh, things to do like they have they can swipe or they can tap on things most of the things we are, we are doing is that much only so you need to consider uh, usage of the screen how it is feasible and easy to use for the uh, people so doesn't matter like how good your application is and how much functionality you are implementing but if you user find it complex your app won't work so that is the first thing you need to consider second is functional testing so you need to consider functionality of testing as yes, like any other testing installation testing is again like critical in the mobile application like uh, you need to test like your app is installing in the different devices different OS uh, uh, like different types of devices like uh, tab mobile uh, correctly so you need to do installation testing and upgrade testing as well because you are keep on upgrading from existing version compatibility testing so the, as mentioned like you need to check compatibility like how compatible it is with different OS's and different manufacturers and different types of devices also user interface testing so user interface is again uh, uh, critical because as we talk uh, we need to check the UI with different screen size so we have so many types of screen size in the mobile also nowadays we have foldable devices and uh, some other devices as well so we need to keep like user interface is easy to look clean and uh, it fits in the small screen API testing so most of the mobile don't have local data most of the things comes from API so when you hit any of the button or you search anything in the mobile if you are for example you have application for shopping cart so when you click buy now it again clicks uh, api call to load the data it calls api so everything is uh, works with the api call only so the api testing is must for mobile navigates or operational testing yes negative and of or, or operational testing so any other thing here also we need to do negative testing but this negative testing is a kind of difference for mobile like uh, uh, when Wi-Fi goes off while using the mobile internet goes off device go to switch off user kills the app while using the app from certain stage so that is common like you got the call while using the app so those are the common things performance testing yes performance is very critical because mobile has lot of application to run and it has limited memory so uh, your application should perform really well and uh, it should be very smooth and security testing because mobile is uh, like a remote device and there are chances of lost device or also your data it connects to different networks so you need to check how secure your data is in the mobile so those are the things uh, are uh, very important. So these are the types of mobile testing you should include your in your test plan So why mobile app testing is complex like people are saying it is very complex or uh, Complex and desktop application why so these are the factors we talked about many types of devices we have so actually we have uh, the tablet device mobile device uh, here in uh, Android TV, I, uh, TV also you can use the uh, uh, your applications if it is meant for it, and uh, we have different screen sizes and a uh, lot of different types of screen size type and uh, OS type we have. 
so different manufacturers like as we talk samsung has their own versions uh, oneplus has their own versions and uh, uh, P google pixel has like uh, common google os android has their own ios their own so those are the things uh, we need to keep in mind as i talk many operating system versions like if you talk about android it has 4 to 13 and uh, in that also they have sub version like 4.4 something like that so we need to support many operating system versions installation like uh, if you talk about desktop application or web app it we we just keep browser and hit url but here we need to install the application so while installing there should not be any error and different uh, operating system has different ways to install so that also we need to keep in the mind here we have limited space and power so that is one more thing we have to take care uh, we have very limited space here like uh, it's in gb and it is like a maximum uh, you can use is very limited and also we have battery power so we need to keep in mind like it should not use more power also the mobility is a factor this device is keep on moving around so uh, it has a different network different it connects to different network it get call in between so those are the things we need to consider so when we are uh, talk about automation testing we talk about automation as well so currently like most of the people are going through the like more and more automation so what can be a automation strategy for mobile apps so first thing you need to do is automate functionality so whatever functionalities you are using automate it for that you can use APM and uh, some other uh, 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 directly installable automation tools but uh, to automate functionality what you can do is you can fix the, your devices like you can go to your customer base and check like what are the devices most used based on that you can check like okay this is the mobile we, uh, we cannot keep for automation so fix that device and run automation otherwise uh, you can't run with all the different types of mobile it there are more chances of failure particularly when you are talking about the ui testing with uh, api automation as we told like uh, mobile uses uh, apis for everything so api testing is critical so it should get all the correct data when you are using so all the api should be automated and uh, uh, tested and installation automation like installation is the headache like you have to download the build and install on the device so you can uh, have automation process like whenever new version is released in few devices is installed from directly installed and in few devices is uh, upgrades the existing app and do the sanity testing on that so that is the uh, plan you can do for, uh, with uh, uh, mobile application automation so what are some tips and tricks to test the mobile application so first you can use the emulator so as i was in starting i was uh, showing you uh, th those are the emulators or real, real devices you get online so you can't purchase all the devices so what you can do is you can uh, uh, go to the uh, market or uh, uh, different uh, uh, mobile emulator providers and you can use that so these are real devices that's why it's costly a little bit but if you, if you want to plan using emulator then you can have in android studio or uh, with ios uh, also so those devices you can install in the laptop and you can use it but emulators are uh, not real devices so you need to keep in mind like you can test ui mostly but for full functionality you need to use real devices as well so for real devices like i uh, use device labs that i was showing you so this is like browser stack very popular but there are other uh, players also which provides you the real device so you can use your real labs to test uh, cover all kinds of devices uh, while testing uh, like in mobile what you feel is sometimes uh, it is a very small screen and you get bored also you need a lot of data from pc to mobile so in that uh, type uh, you can use visor like that is the extension which allows you to connect your device into pc so it shows your device on the pc and i have already written one article on the, my blog so you can check that as well if you feel any difficulty for that that is the chrome extension you can use so thank you for watching full video so like and comment
and the video if you have any doubt feel free to ask subscribe the channel and tell to your friends and follow us on social media links are in given in the description so thank you